guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for those who don't know me, I'm Amy. Guys, my favourite season is upon us now. We are in autumn and I absolutely love it for many reasons, but fashion being the main reason. I just love all the cosy knits, I love all the textures of clothes, I love layering, I love the colours. Yes, autumn is my favourite season. So at the moment, the shops seem to be brimming with new autumn things and I don't know about you, but I could go into Mango and H&M, Zara and spend a load of money on lots of new things. But sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming with all this newness in the shop because do you really need it will you wear it again is it going to be something that's going to stay through the years or is it just an impulse purchase so if you are getting a little bit overwhelmed with what you think you might need to buy this season i'm going to show you in this video 10 key things that if i was starting my autumn capsule wardrobe again what i would purchase now it might be a case of when you've watched this video you see that you've actually got a lot of these things already in your wardrobe and then don't have to go out and buy some but if I was going to go and buy everything new again, then this is what I would buy. So let's begin. So up first for number one, I've got jeans. Now my preference is a straight leg mom style jean and I would choose to have one in blue and one in black as well. With the two different colourways, you obviously cover all bases of outfits. So my preference, as you can see in the video, is for blue jeans I quite like to wear with Ugg boots and tan colours and black jeans I prefer to wear a black shoe. But with jeans, you can dress them up, you can dress them down, they go with absolutely anything. And yeah, number one is a straight leg mom jean. So my blue ones are from Zara last year and my black ones are from Lipsy. Okay, coming up for number two is leather trousers. Now, I've cheated a little bit here and I've got leather trousers and I've got leather shorts as well. Now, the reason that I've chosen both is because I think it's quite nice to be able to have a choice. So I think adding leather to your wardrobe can make quite a basic outfit just slightly more elevated. I really like wearing leather trousers in a day with chunky knits or vest top. I also really like wearing leather shorts with very thin denier tights. So like I said, leather I think can make any very basic outfit slightly more interesting and it just adds a a little bit more dimension to the outfit with obviously a different type of material. One of my favourite looks is leather trousers with just a vest top, keeping it quite simple. I think that can look quite sexy with like a black ankle boot. And leather shorts I think can look really nice for like an oversized blazer and again ankle boots or stilettos depending on what you're doing. These leather shorts were from Zara and my leather trousers were last year and they were Lipsy. So up next for number three, I've got blazers and specifically oversized blazers. So I've got one in a check material, I've got a black one and I've got a beige one as well. Now I'm not sure I could pick between my favourite out of the three because having one of each colour in my wardrobe allows me to create a lot of different outfits. So I love this checked one and I got it from H&M last year but they have similar ones online now as well so I'll add the link below as I will do with all these outfits I'll add them in the description. So my second one is this black velvet oversized blazer. Now I think that any black blazer will do whatever your preference is. I just particularly like this one. I actually got this one from an ex-boyfriend so it is oversized because it was a man's and it is a man's and it's from Couples but I've found lots of other similar ones online, which I will link because they are gorgeous. I love it particularly because it's got satin around the trim and it's got some gorgeous buttons and it is a gorgeous sumptuous black velvet, which I love. Again, I think the velvet gives a bit of dimension to the outfit, but if you don't like velvet and just want to wear a black one, a black blazer is another key to having your wardrobe. So last one is this creamy blazer. Now I got this one from a company called Y-A-S, Yas, Y-A-S, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that one. I got this one last year and I really like it again because it's quite a casual fit, oversized and yeah, elevates any outfit. I had a lot of wear out of this one last autumn and I hope to do the same again. I really like pairing this one with cream or jeans. Okay, now for number four, I've gone with basic tees and vests. Now, you could say I cheated a little bit again because I've got four items on here, but hear me out as to why I think each one of these is quite important. So I've gone with a plain white or off-white cream t-shirt. I think that's really important to have in your order because it's just a staple basic. Number two, we've got the plain white vest top. 
three, we've got the plain black vest top. And lastly, we've got the striped vest top as well. You can probably see that all my vests are in the style of the racer where it's high neck and halter neck. That's just because I prefer that style on me. I think it flatters my figure more than a standard vest. So for me, these four are very important basics for your wardrobe. Okay, so for number five, I've got tailored trousers. So I've chosen tailored trousers in black and I've chosen them in cream. So my favourite black trousers are a high-waisted straight leg trouser. I love wearing these with heels, with black ankle boots, flats sometimes I'll wear, like with black brogues. I think it's a really nice way to make any outfit look a little bit more premium. And then for cream trousers, I got these ones from Zara last year, but they always have these type of trousers in store. I've chosen like a cigarette style for the cream. For me, it's just a preference. I like this one, but any tailored trousers in black or cream would work. I particularly like wearing these with nude stilettos. I think it creates a really nice look and a cream jumper as well. That is probably my way to style them. But you can wear tailored trousers with t-shirts, vest tops, blazers. There's many, many options for these. Okay, so for number six, we've got knitwear. Now, for a capsule wardrobe, I would suggest personally, because I know I get a lot of wear out of these, I've gone for a thin cream jumper. I specifically like a turtleneck when it comes to thin jumpers. I think it makes any outfit look more elegant, classy, sophisticated. So yeah, we've got a cream thin one here. This one was from Zara last year. Up next, we've got a chunky knit jumper. Now, this was actually my mum's from when she was probably my age. So it's very, very old, but it's 100% wool, gorgeous jumper, super thick. Really like the way this looks when you want a cosy outfit, but still look well put together. So just like the cream thin, I've gone with a black thin jumper as well. This is a polar neck as well because I like polar necks. This one is from Lipsy last year and it's got some nice little detailing on here which elevates it slightly and it's in a ribbed material. Again, great basic, goes with many things and with the polar neck just looks that little bit more classy. So last one for knitwear, I've gone with a thick black chunky knitted jumper. Now this one is from Zara last year again, but I really like it. I wore it a lot last season and I'm gonna wear the same again. I've gone with a striped one just because I don't have a plain black one, but I would suggest any black thick jumper would work. I particularly like the stripes because I just think it adds a little bit to the design. And I like the collar on this one, which I'll just show you now. I think looks really nice when you put it over a blazer. But again, any black jumper I would add to this collection. So up next, we have knee-high boots. Knee-high boots for me are a non-negotiable in autumn. I absolutely love them. So my black ones are from ASOS and I only actually got them last week, so I'll add the link below. I like them because the heel height isn't too high very manageable, comfortable, and yeah, I love knee-high boots in autumn because you can wear them with mini skirts, chunky dresses, you can dress them up, dress them down, and I really do think that knee-high boots are just an autumn essential. So we've also got some cream ones here as well, and these were from Zara last year. Now on my Instagram, you all seem to go crazy for these boots. So yeah, they were Zara last year and they're like slouch boots. Super comfy and really stylish. Love that the suede, I think with suede, if they weather a little bit, they can still look really nice. So yeah, I love wearing these boots, especially with like cream outfits. I like cream skirts, jumpers. It's really nice to have one of each color. So the boots lead us right onto mini skirts. So I think it's really nice to have mini skirts in a black and a mini skirt in a neutral color as well. These ones in particular are from Zara last year. They're actually skirt, so they are short at the back and a skirt at the front. I do probably prefer just all complete skirts. I think it can look a little bit nicer, but these ones for now will do me. However, I might buy myself a pleated one this season. So up next, we have got cropped jackets. Now, I particularly like tweed style jackets. I just think they look really elegant and very sophisticated. Now, I think we need one in black and I think we also need one in cream. So my black one is from Lipsy and I got this only a few weeks ago. So I'm not sure if it is still in stock, but I really like it. I love the gold buttons. I think all the detailing on it is really classy. And I like the little detailing of the lighter color around the trim. Any black crop jacket can really elevate an outfit and I think give you that quiet luxury-esque styling that everyone seems to be loving right now. 
So my cream one is from Karen Millen and I got this one last year. Again, it's like a tweed material. Obviously it's a lot simpler than the black. It's just a plain cream. It's a slightly longer hemline than the black one, but it still has the same kind of vibe. Love the gold buttons. And yeah, again, I just think adding this to any outfit can really elevate your look and make you look super stylish. Now, lastly, but by no means least, I have chosen wool coats. My absolute favourite coat that I can't stop wearing is this camel oversized coat that I got from Lipsy a few weeks ago. I've had a few camel coats over the years, but I particularly like this one because it's quite oversized. The other coat I've included in here is a cream one as well. It's a cream wool coat, like a three quarter length coat, which I think for me is the perfect length. Now, I know some people might say to choose a black coat as a key capsule wardrobe piece as well, but for me, I don't tend to wear a lot of outfits that I think a black coat would particularly go with. If I was gonna buy anything with black in it, I would probably go for something up there like a hound's tooth instead. For me, I much prefer the neutral colours for coats. I think it brightens the outfit a little bit more, makes it more of a standout fashion piece. So for me, we've got a camel wool coat and a cream wool coat. So guys, that's the end of my video today. I hope you found it useful. Hopefully it might have reminded you of some of your pieces that you already have in your wardrobe. You can have a look at them, get them out and then think about styling them differently. Or if there is some pieces here that you haven't got, maybe it gives you a little bit more clarity of what you want to go and buy rather than just heading to the shops completely clueless. As always, if you don't subscribe to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you did so. And do please let me know what other content or videos you'd like me to recreate for you. See you again soon, guys.